We are back at the gig see my friend. If you don't know, now I know this. Hey, hey, sounds what they call me. Let's get straight into it. Great taste, all them, the best 90s male R&B group. It should be a good one. Let's go. Why is Kevin on stage <laughs> looking like run to regulate the camera like that? So you was walking Call around with him. a boombox just playing Call dragging him and in. Play it. That's I'm it. walking on a <laughs> lonely highway. <laughs> asking God to please forgive me. Yeah, yeah. Messing up the blessing he gave yeah. to me. And that's why I was like, that, Hey man, tell hello, you everything clear. Yeah. Damn, man. Damn. Yeah. Teddy was singing, don't ruin it with you. What's up, y'all? Tony Baker here representing the best R&B group of the 90s. Easily. Jodeci, man. Come on. Can't Even you know it in your souls right now watching this video. <laughs> you already know. They're like, yeah, yeah, Tony right about that. They <laughs> right in the comment section right now. What up? It's me, Meg Scoop, and the best 90s male R&B group is none other than Drew Hill. What's up, y'all? I am Mika J, and by far the best R&B 90s group is 112. Why? Because it's where the players dwell. To hear more represent the best male R&B group, and it has to go to none other than Tony, Tony, Tony. I like that name. No. You know what I mean? I Tony, like name. You Tony, Tony, Tony. That's right. not your real name. Raphael okay. Sadiq and two other dudes. Name. That's fine. Uh, that's the name that's of that group. Fine. <laughs> that's fine. But Who was, was the other two dudes in Tony, Tony, Tony? Dwayne. That was Dwayne. Tony. It wasn't Dwayne. Was that was a Dwayne. That was his brother. And okay. then it was a cousin that they ain't really like, but they all fell out. You don't know don't his matter. name. No, Does no, it no. matter? What's up, y'all? I'm Kevin on stage. I'm here to tell you why Boys to Men is the best 90s R&B group ever. Jagged Edge saved so many relationships throughout the did. relationship. A lot of people was out here cheating, doing bad. Jagged Edge had that record for you. Like, oh, you trying to just tell her you want to get married. You know, rush her to the altar. That's the worst no. rush her to the altar. We did not do it. No, girl, we might as well do it. We might as well. It is amazing to me. See, here's the thing. <laughs> See when you young, when you young, this song came out. When this song came out, I was a uh, what like nine, ten at best. So it's like you don't even grasp like what the words really mean because you you haven't even been through anything that really even understand. Listening back to it, we ain't getting no young girl. We might as well do. It's crazy. <laughs> I just want to get married. Oh, it's like, what? Like, that is the most ass backwards goddamn proposal probably ever. Oh, my God. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> do that. Do that. That's, that's romantic. unromantic. Singing-wise, it's really just Casey and JoJo. I know Devontae and Dalvin. It don't matter. Every, every R&B group over here on this whack-ass panel, there's, there's strong <laughs> ones and there's weak ones. There's people you like, I don't know what he does, but he's just in the group. Everybody has that up here on this panel. Right. But Casey and JoJo. And JoJo got two out of the four. That's, that's a high But those number two right left. Nah, and then one of them. Even more famous with All My Life. Devontae wrote and produced the tracks. Right. Okay? Devontae was then, the most then talented had Devontae one. Devontae what then you had do? two singers, so bam, you only had one useless cat in the group. That Dalvin. was Dalvin. I don't know what he yeah. was doing. He's the brother. No disrespect. Brother. Drew Hill was no. tight, but they never really got their full respect because people thought the half the group was kind of suspect. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't. Nokia would it just be randomly yeah. in the back, just playing with his nipple. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of video is this? That is what Nokia. What did Nokia bring to the table? Nokia was cute. Let me tell you why 112 is the best. First off, peaches and cream. Okay? okay. You need it because you know that I'm a that fiend. That wasn't even okay. their first Get freaky in my Bentley limousine. They were before okay. their time. They already had Bentley limousine. And it was Slim a Bentley limousine. It was a Bentley Listen, bumper it was a and a Bentley front limousine. with a it Cadillac wasn't, It wasn't a Bentley limousine. They make it right it wasn't now. A Bentley Number limousine. one. Number two. Number two. Room 112 was a double. You got four guys well. sweet, sleeping in the dungeon. <laughs> right, Paul. There were no sweets. Yeah. It, it was sweet. And it was, it it was, was accessible. There were no sweets. It was a sweet. The they had undeniable hits. They, 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 they had a ton of hits. Lay your head on my pillow. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I wrote that out right now. Lay your head on my pillow. I ain't 
Songs, videos, ash and wash jeans, blue shirts, black, black and white background. Y'all didn't even know about that. Into the road, song for mama, water once dry, desert, shirt open, doing this. That's never Your been boy, an attractive move. Michael with the deep oh voice, get his own breakdown just so he can go, baby. You know what? <laughs> I didn't do none of the dance moves. Do, do, That's still do. really wild to me that the one dude really had had one role like if you listen to the track it don't sound like he outside of a uh, like motown Philly, motown philly or something like that you don't really hear uh uh uh, uh God, hold on what would do d voice is lion lion michael sean nathan so i think it was michael right michael yeah you don't really hear dude in the song outside of one part that's crazy. Like he, re he he filled his role. Like that's how you that's how you really play a team a team game. Like he fulfilled his role to the fullest. You feel me, baby? <laughs> oh my god! And then you find out See, which one of y'all right? Yeah. I know these so-called players so wouldn't take it, but I'm gonna be with you. Make love to just anyone. They sung that <laughs> made you believe it. When that, that song first came out, I was like, yes. And then I listened to it as an adult and was like, I mean, if a man ever says to me, we might as well. I mean, well, we might as well, I'll man. Him in his throat. <laughs> we <laughs> might as well. We might as well. We might as well. Man, what, you doing what, that? what have you been doing before this that's worked? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the group name, all right? 112, named after a club that's probably closed down now. No respect <laughs> at all. Drew Hill, named after a park in Baltimore. Woo, hella creative. Wow. <laughs> Boys to men. These look like grown men as soon as they came out, because they old in the face. <laughs> they was men to men, okay? Men to men! Tony, Tony, Tony's weird, because none of them is named Tony in the group. And Jagged Edge, they was just like, yo, we rough around the edges. Whoa. <laughs> Are y'all jagged? Oh, that's a good point. Jagged, we might as well. I like jagged ass. I, 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 oh, jagged ass work, Joe, though. See. Joe, Joe, Joe. That's the front Joe right there. Okay. Devante and Dalvin, DeGrady. No, that's their last name. Just -E. Devante. No, their last, <laughs> their last name is DeGrady. KC, got the C on the end, CI. Boom. Their that's names are all within the group names. That's, what that's, that's creative as that is, they, uh, they literally just took their own names and, was like, and put them together. Put them together. Creative. Right. It's great. It, it slapped them. It sounds like something. But it slapped them. They doing came up with their name and their wife's name forever. On how All creative day. that is. They got the Las Vegas residency right now. And I went out there and saw the show. It was amazing. You're <laughs> you went by yourself. You're 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 yourself. Not. You went by yourself. I went with my homeboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's you went with my If that's what you want to do, all power to you. But I would never in the history of life ever bring my 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 homeboy ever to an R and B concert. Like, there's no reason when most of the songs is about loving on somebody. That's why you, you don't go to no R&B concert with anybody except your girl or your spouse. Like, women can get away with it because women are sensual all, anyway. So they sensual. They, so women can have a girl's trip and go to an R&B concert. Men can't do that. We can't go have a man's trip and go watch and go, or go to Usher's residency. Like, we can't do that. You can't do that. There's got to be women. There's got to be women in the, the group or something. Like, so that's that's crazy if you really brought your mans <laughs> to, a, to an R&B concert. That would be crazy. Homeboys? There's nothing wrong with two homeboys enjoying okay. classic 90s r and Drew Hill was the only one that said, you know what? We're going to put a big dude in our group because we are equal opportunity Everybody love. Everybody had a okay? big dude. Right. Gerald nah, LeVert. Boys the Men, it was like three big yeah. dudes in Boys the Men. They were not big. big. They were not big. 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 Jazz was big, big, you guys. Big. He's still big now. He's big, he bigger. And let me, bigger. Tell, really? let me tell you now, he what he does is I just went to go see Drew Hill a couple years ago in Las Vegas. Oh, so Meg could go see Drew Hill in Vegas, but 
I can't see boys and men. No, no. Women can do that. Women can do that. Any one of Tony, Tony, Tony songs, if you started singing it or playing right now, y'all will hop in line. Feels Any good. one of them. Feels good. Feels good. Hey, yeah. 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 Come on, Cam. That can be the point. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, Tim. I'm gonna be weary with you, man. I always thought something was wrong with the twins and Jagged Edge. What? What? I feel like their eyes were too far apart. I feel like their eyes were too far apart. Like they had lead poison. They had lead poison. The twins and Jagged Edge had lead poison, dog. Like side of their head, like flounders. I don't know. Flounders? That's why Wingo and Kyle was there. Yeah. To hold them together. Nay who? Boys to men hit the and that's, and that's what got you wet. It did. That's what got you wet. Bill's panties were so wet on the first day. Uh, 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 Jodeci fell off as soon as Devante got on that dope. They didn't have no more writers. That was yeah. 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 Jodeci was amazing, but when Devontae, when Devontae got on that dope and got that little bun in his head, once they start wearing that little bun, they fell off. Drugs create the best music. Everybody knows it does. That's why Christian music don't really sound like that, because they ain't doing the drugs out here. Jodeci, you got to bring in the drugs, Christian music. That's a great point. Fred Hammond, Fred Hammond, do some coke, man. Kirk Franklin was like, you know what's funny? Shout out to Kevin on stage. Look how I come around, though. Kevin on stage has had a series. I don't know why he stopped doing it. Come to the stage to where he interviewed um, Fred Hammond. And Fred Hammond basically said, oh, yeah, like all my dopest records. Well, he didn't say this, but like a lot of my dope records, I just kind of just took from R&B and just remixed it. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? And then he broke it down like, oh, yeah, that is R&B. Oh, yeah, that is R&B. And he's like, yeah, the reason why R&B also flourished is because, especially in the 90s, is because they took from gospel. So the reason why 90s gospel and R&B hit the way they do is because they were just taking from each other and, and were inspiring each other to do what they were doing. It's like, dang, that's crazy. So shout out to, definitely go watch that Fred Hammond interview on um, coming to the stage with, uh, with Kevin on stage, yo. That was crazy. Like, I never broke that down to really think about, oh, that is an R&B bass line. Yo, Fred Hammond, yo. Shout out to Fred Hammond. But, uh, yeah, it's like, why music ain't, ain't what it used to be? Because R&B, Fred Hammond said this, R&B ain't what it used to be because, um, no, gospel ain't what it used to be because we don't have no, no way of, there's, there's no dope R&B Songs no more and gospel and R&B and what it used to be because ain't no more dope gospel songs like it's really go hand in hand. That's crazy. But anyway, go ahead. Fred Hammond, do some coke, man. <laughs> Come on out here, man. And gospel Kirk, gangsters. Kirk Franklin was liking porn. That's why Kirk Franklin was selling, man. Nah. You need devices out here. Man. Can't argue with it. That was a good one. You need devices out here. Jodeci was all vice, drugs, alcohol, beating be women. women, coke. They just doing it all. Anything <laughs> you name it. Cisco is all Drew Hill. Yeah. Ain't no Drew yeah. Hill. Even more than Tony, Tony, Tony. Ain't nothing but you kind of don't but really want to see Cisco too much by himself. No, Cisco. Left Drew Hill and then release and Unleash the Dragon that the went platinum. Like, that's that's what what I love all these dragons. I don't care what you know he changed his hair from blonde to platinum because he was like, I'm out here making platinum hits. He's a ma and then guess what? He is now <laughs> back with the group yeah, and he's touring with them. Mm -hmm. This is what R&B was made on. It isn't always about the sexuality, which most of you heathens group is all about. This is no. about love, sexual Tony, face. What is anniversary about? What? Sex. Love. Love, exactly. Love I said love the dogs about the Anytime sex. you hear anniversary, your you know your mama pillow. getting took down. That's what I mean. <laughs> Anniversary your means they were together. Every time they was together. They wasn't just smashing. They was together. <laughs> Jagged Edge, number one group in the world. That's Never. all I got to say. Jagged Edge is in the That's world. all I got to say. Edge number one group to ever do it. They had J.E. Chains on top of the So So Def Chains. That wasn't and that they was getting into the most fades. They did. Yeah. Backstage, they caught the most fades out of any R&B group. They I, did. Hands time. down. Boys to men, we belong together. Not me and you, but th that was their song. You and your Kev, date. Mary, Smash, <laughs> Kill. Which one? Together. So after your date at the concert, did y'all smash? <laughs> <laughs> That's still crazy to me. I know it's all whatever. That's so sad to me. Imagine if that was real. Like, 
If bro, if you hey, if, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Hey, we, we don't judge. I'm just saying. It that's, that's, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's great taste. Best '90s R&B groups of all time. I got I got I got to go. Boys and Men. Like we're not gonna play around. Boys and nobody is messing with Boys and Men. Like if you listen to anything, just listen to the acapella, acapellas. That lets you know everything. I think I, it might be on my channel. It's on my channel, right? Yeah. Silent Night. Go on my channel right now. Listen to Silent Night. That lets you know everything. None of these other groups could have really did Silent Night like that. No disrespect to Joe to see Drew Hill, 112. So come on, man. Like, nah. So, yeah, Boys and Men, easily. I'm not debating y'all about this. Y'all can try to debate me, but no, it's Boys and Men. What you talking about? Andy from Philly. What you talking about? <laughs> but like, comment, subscribe, share all things, other things. Ain't got to go home. Do I got to get the hell out of here? Peace. Did you tell me this was over? over. There ain't no use talking me over. over. Yeah. Or can you try to tell me sooner? Over. Or can you tell me this was over?